with a dream in my cardigan Welcome to the land of fame excess Am I gonna fit in? Jumped in the cab, here I am for the first time Look to my right and I see the Hollywood sign This is all so crazy Everybody seems so famous My tummy's turning and I'm feeling kinda homesick Too much pressure and I'm nervous Cause when the taxi man turned on the radio And a Jay-Z song was on And a Jay-Z song was on And a Jay-Z You only have to look around your house to see the evolution of, of systems. How many of us have appliances that used to provide us satisfaction in a very kind of self-contained manner? And how many of these devices are now network connected? Just uh, a couple of decades ago, there was barely any software in an automobile. My off-road truck has basically one processor in it. Today's modern car has 10 million lines of software more than it takes a jet fighter to fly. It's a rolling compute farm outfitted with tens of processors that not only talk to each other. The need for systems engineering arose with the increase in complexity of systems and projects. When you're speaking in this context, complexity incorporates not only engineering systems, but also the legal human organization of data. At the same time, system can be become more complex due to an increase in size as well as win an increase in the amount of data, variables, or the number of fields that are involved in the design. Part of what we provide them is real-time capabilities to audit and trace the information through these complex systems to design smarter products with a roadmap that helps them avoid the challenges of the complexity that they face these days. The development of smarter control algorithms, microprocessor design, and analysis of environmental system also come within the purview of system engineering. Some examples of these tools are modeling and simulation, optimization, system dynamics, system analysis, statistical analysis, reliability analysis, and decision making. But they also are talking to the outside world. As companies strive to deliver higher quality products, they really struggle with the complexity of the systems and how they're put together today. Upwards of 40% of their engineering efforts are now being spent on electronics and software. IBM is taking on the challenges that organizations face from this rising complexity. One of our clients, uh, an automotive manufacturer, uses IBM Rational Solutions for systems and software engineering to simplify the complex design process and really break it down into smaller manageable pieces and then to distribute these pieces to their engineering team which resides around the world. Taking an interdisciplinary approach to engineering system, inherently complex since the behavior of the interactions among system components is not always immediately well defined or understood. 
Defining and characterizing such systems, our subsystems, and the interaction among them is one of the goals of the system engineering. Samsung is 803 jet demonstrates the domain performance that full touch user expects centering around multimedia. Speedy processor and ultra brilliant display of Samsung S803 jet maximize user satisfaction. Samsung S803 jet, the mobile of tomorrow offering consumers real ones in a full touch mobile. Slick lines and subtle curves of Samsung S803 Jet personify its ergonomic intelligence cradling perfectly and comfortably in your hand. and turning it in. Yo, what's up? Nada. Just another day on the train. Yeah. I heard there was another incident yesterday. I know. I wonder how they track safety information. For most rail organizations, almost all safety info is stored in spreadsheets and text files. In some cases, you might find an access database, but, that's rare. That's scary. What kind of information are you talking about? Anything that's important. Incidents, Federal Rail Administration reportables, trespassing info, efficiency test results, grade crossing information, and improvement projects and metrics. Doesn't that make it difficult to track information over time, hard to compare data, and difficult to generate reports required by state and federal agencies? You don't know the half of it. Is anyone doing something about it? One company, Proofpoint Systems, is pulling it all together. Their web-based application supports all rail-related data management and reporting requirements. They developed their system for Los Angeles Metrolink in response to the 2008 Chatsworth incident. That's impressive. Does Proofpoint track reportables? Yes, easily. Nice. Does it track efficiency testing? Yes. And, it can tie into a learning management system. Does it help manage grade crossing inventory? Yes, Proofpoint has thousands of rail crossings preloaded. It also ties into Google Maps. Cool. Is it cost effective? Very. Plus, Proofpoint reduces staff time and effort. I'm down with that. For real. Proofpoint makes rail safety reporting easy, accurate, and effective. Effective, plus proof point reduces time and effort. 
Airport. From point, make rail safety recording easy, accurate, and effective. Some New York air travelers are going to have to make do without their luggage for a while. A computer. The luggage of all the passengers of John F. Kennedy International Airport will not be able to be able to be The baggage tests were manually checked by the guard, and the passengers were frustrated, and all flights were canceled. The management decided to have this option. Either they will wait for the problem to be fixed, or fly with other bags and will to them sometime later. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press. Thank you. 